Alright, hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I am coming back to this um, amazing piece of literature, as you would call it, uh, this uh, this take right here. Uh, <laughs> but no, this thread right here, we've gone over it, and uh, this is the, um, you know, the average guy with the, uh, Jesus Christ. Alright, it's, it's this one, you know what it is if you've seen it. If you haven't, just check a couple days back. Um, on my channel and you'll probably find it. It's uh, titled Bannerlord was a grift, but yeah You guys told me to actually come back to this thread a lot of you guys agree that you guys want my take on this But uh, the devs did respond and it's a pretty hefty response. So I'm gonna read it I'm gonna talk about it and we're gonna go from there. I don't think I want to read much more I'll probably read this dev reply as well. And if he did Reply after that which I don't think he is I think this was his last reply so we'll do both of these replies, and uh, that shall be it. But alrighty, um, I kind of pre-read this first part, just so I don't keep this video too long. Uh, he's pretty much talking about, he liked, uh, what's it called? He liked Warband a lot, and then um, I guess some of his interests. And then he states that Bandalord, unfortunately, just did not meet up for his expectations. Um, he doesn't want to really blame anybody, but I think he said that the project is too large and all of that. And I'm just going to read the last parts. He, uh, the player, um, states, I get the feeling that this may be what has happened. It's an honest mistake. I think whether the game, de whether the game's development can be saved at this point remains to be seen at this point. Terrorworlds has not, wait, wait, has got to be feeling the heat. I bet I can't read. It's really late. I'm running on empty almost uh, he says i want badly for them to succeed but the state of the game is improving too slowly it is just not fun enough and it won't be until some point after the refactoring is satisfactory to terror worlds and the modern community can finally get their teeth into the gameplay side of things all right before i read that reply never mind i'm not gonna mention that i was gonna mention the whole kind of aspect that you know while it looks grim if you only uh, look at the uh, forums, people enjoy the game. You know what I mean? Um, I forgot exactly where I read. It was an article. I think it's right here. I have it pulled up because I'm going to go over it in a second as well. But as you can see, uh, Steam um, states that they don't have official sales data, but pretty much uh, from Steam, that or Steam Spy, which I guess is like an app or something, or a third-party application or whatever, uh, they estimate that between five to ten million owners, the, the, there are five to ten million owners of uh, Bannerlord, and eighty-seven percent of user reviews are positive. And uh, state that some recent reviews uh, are at eighty-two percent, but eighty-seven percent is pretty good for the amount of reviews that the game has. It's pretty good and does show a lot of people are enjoying the game. And also, if you do look at the recently played, um, it's it's going up. It is actually going up. Let's see if I can pull this up right now real quick. Let's go to Steam Charts. Let's go to Bannerlord. Uh, where is it? Right over here. Let me go. Here we go. Uh, it's right over here. There you go, as you can see. I don't know why it looks like this, because the game came out like right here. You know what I'm saying? Then they had that big dip. But as you can see, it is going steady. It's going up and down, up and down. It is going steady. It's been going steady for a month. You know what I mean? Same way we had the ups and downs whenever new patches come out. But yeah, it has been going steady. The player base is... The continuous player base is there. You know what I mean? And people do enjoy the game. It's just unfortunately on the forums... It's just, you know, it's a little dramatic, you know, that's the best, that's the most best way I could put it. It's a little dramatic and I think it could be a lot less dramatic, but it is what it is at this point. Right. But all right. And you know, oh, and another funny thing I'm going to cover in a different video. I have so many tabs pulled up for different videos, but there's a post I'm going to cover in um, a different video where, where uh, the person posted it to Reddit and also to the forums. And you can literally see the differences um, 
of audiences and all that on both places. On Reddit, they challenged like his opinions, they challenged all the stuff, and actually called him out for actually, you know, lying about certain things that the devs have said, and kind of, you know what I mean, not representing in a good light. And then on the forums, if you check uh, the comments there, everyone's like, yeah, bro, I agree, they're the worst, they're this, and it really shows a lot. But that video is coming up. Let's not talk about that. Let's get to the response by the developers. All right, so developer uh, states, thank you uh, to this person. This is really close. This is really close what we had experienced, okay? I will try to write something about these topics. It's hard to talk about these complex topics with my weak English, but I will try. Sorry for the grammar mistakes or wrong wordings. At the end, important things, understanding and sharing key points, and we could do it somehow, okay? I can say that anybody at top of Terra Worlds are not focused Wait, wait, I can say that anybody at top of Terra Worlds are not focused on getting more money without giving players something not good. Okay, so he's saying that they're not going for the money. That's not their, you know what I mean, goal. That's why development took so much time. I understand your frustrations. However, hype was already ready to rise. That is true regardless of how they did it. The hype was going to be there. It, it's, it's, it's it, In a way, it's a continuation of a game that was... You know what I mean? A very big game and loved by many. So the hype was going to be there regardless. So I understand that. It's hard to slow it down or reduce. True. Even now, sometimes we talk about the basic feature and form, war reasons. Uh, then there become big expectations. True. It's not going to be that big. It's not going to be, how can I explain this? It's going to be a good feature. It's going to be a solid feature, but it's not going to be what people expect is what he's trying to say. He says, then I have to write, please do not expect something big. It's not a game changer to slow down expectations. I cannot defend weak communication of top, but they are not scammers. Armagon is a good person. I do not know why he does not prefer communication during EA, and he is not a guy focused on making more money. He is a well-educated and trustful person, which are rare to find around these days. Okay. I understand your situation that you cannot see enough communication from him. I also feel same like you. Become like you lost one of your closest friends. I'm not happy with this direction. I also criticized even at forum. However, I want to underline that I really do not understand or can defend halting his communication with players. Probably it's because no time remains for that after company grows too much. Okay. So what he's saying is, while he does not agree with it, he's still going to stick up to, um, you know what I mean? He's going to stand by. His fellow, uh, I'm guessing, I don't know if that's his bot, his direct boss, but, you know, they work together. He's standing up for him. Hey, it is what it is. Um, he says uh, communication could be better, but he's saying that the company is growing and maybe that's what has taken all his attention. Okay, so he's pretty much saying what you expect from anybody who, you know, if, 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 you, if you like that person, this is what you're going to say. You know what I mean? You're going to go to the fence. You're not just going to throw it out. You know what I mean? I understand. I understand. Um, a, like I said before in another video, and this might be a hot take. That might be a really hot take, but hear me out. I understand why a lot of these developers don't talk to people on the forums. Don't get me wrong. There's still a lot of replies on the forums and all that. Bro, I literally have a list of 20 or 30 links that the devs have replied to that I want to make videos on. Right now, 20 or 30, they came out literally in the past two weeks. That's how much videos I have to make, but I just don't have time to make yet. But with that being said, I understand why a lot, why a lot of developers do not post in these forums. It is literally just, it's this constant like battlefield type of uh, thing where the devs post something. It was like 10, 20, I wouldn't, nah, I wouldn't say there's not even that many people. I'd say a dozen at most. People would just come in and just, just be either negative or you know whiny or this and it's just like dog if we want productive change we got to be productive if we want productive if we want like you know what i mean like if we want like honest change like this there's better ways of doing it there is a lot better ways of doing it and i know people are gonna be like oh well you know they didn't listen so i got frustrated and i'm i'm only doing this out of anger because i care it's not a good excuse i said it before it's never a good excuse to blame your anger because you love something. To blame your... Bro, listen. If you ha don't have kids yet or if you do have kids, change that mindset very quickly. Okay? 
listen, I'm not a most experienced adult out there, you know what I mean? But I've taken care of my brothers, you know what I mean? I've got, you know, I was the older brother. I had to, you know what I mean? Take care of them. And now I have my own son. So, you know, I got a little bit of experience, but I also have an experience of being a son myself. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, it's, it's never a good excuse and, uh, to, to kind of say, oh, I'm treating you badly or I'm being extra strict or I'm being extra angry or I'm being extra frustrated because I care for you. Because, bro, nobody wants to hear that. Nobody wants to hear that. I promise you. And it's just, it, it's not good. It's not a good loving relationship. It's not a good, it's just not, it's not a good thing to do. It's just not. Because if you care for that person or if you care for, the, for, for this game, right, if you care to make it better, then you treat it with care. You, you, you do stuff positively. You don't do stuff negatively to get a positive outcome. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, it's not the way. But let's continue. Uh, then uh, he states, money is something meaningless after some point. Reputation is more important. True. Even one million is enough for living in good conditions in all your life without working. You can take maybe 10, 10 times of this money after Warband's success and can live happily ever after. It is hard to create a product which will make end users mostly happy, especially after a sequel of a successful product. That is also true. Making making a part two of anything is actually extremely hard. That's why you see a lot of movies just crash and fall uh, whenever they try to do like a sequel. That is also true. That's, uh, yeah, that is true. But I think what he's saying right here is, um, um, what's it called? If, if the guys at the top were really about the money, they could have took a way bigger payout. And uh, you know what I mean? And lived very well for the rest of their life with that big payout, but they didn't. So... Unless I'm kind of reading it wrong, but I think that's kind of what he's implying here. Um, he says, you should always think about your project day and night, and you should spend your life for it. Even even you should not spend enough time with your family. Otherwise, it would be hard to understand what players want or need. Okay, I kind of don't agree with that. I get the dedication and all that, but spend more time with your family. Listen, listen, I'm going to keep it honest with you. Uh, because I understand the people on this forum, they want they want the devs to just work 24-7. Get it done, get it done, get it done. No, bro, listen, if y'all need breaks, if y'all tired of dealing with some of this stuff, go take a break. Man. Go, go, You know what I mean? Just relax for a little bit, you know? And, and if people on the forums get mad, who cares? Because guess what? They've been getting mad, regardless, you know? And what's funny is the same people who are getting mad... Um, What's it called? They're getting mad right now and be like, oh, the updates have slowed down. When the updates were going faster, these are the same people who said, bro, stop updating so fast. My mods keep breaking. These are literally the same people. So regardless what the devs do at this point, people are going to be upset. You know what I mean? Not a majority of people, but unfortunately, you know, the place that the devs check the most, in my opinion, I think, which is the forums, because that's where most of the replies are. That's unfortunately where all these negative people are, which sucks. You know what I mean? I wish it was a different, you know, community space, but it is what it is. But yeah, spend more time with your family. Uh, in Warband, uh, he communicated players much, and this yield with a higher uh, ratio of end user happiness. However, it's easy to do if you're an indie company, you have lots of energy, ambitions, and dreams. After company grows, you need to deal with a lot of boring stuff, so time remained to player communication reduces. This can reduce your uh, product's uh, gameplay. This can reduce happiness of company. In that point, you should give your um, give some of your powers to others and split responsibilities. However, this is not done. However, this is not done at Tail Worlds. Also, probably it seems ambitious, ambition uh, reduces after success is gained, maybe relative, related to human nature. Listen, no, nah, that, that's a real thing. Okay, that's a real thing. Um, how can I explain it? This is the best way I can explain because I, I experienced this too. Don't get me wrong. I experienced this too. Uh, I think everybody experienced this at one point where when you really need something, like for example, right? I lived, I lived by myself for a very long time. And, it, and when I moved out of, uh, you know, my parents' house, I only had $100 to my name, like literally $100. Once I paid my rent for the first month, I literally had to, <laughs> I for I didn't, I want to say I forged right there, but you know, there's some, you know, I, I got the apartment. All I'm trying to say is I got the apartment. You know what I mean? Because, you know, if you live in the U.S., there's a lot of requirements to get an apartment. But I got the apartment regardless. But I had $100 in my account. And 
you know, it's it's like how can I explain this? When rent is due next month, and you don't have the it yet in your account, you will try to find that money. You will try to make that money like crazy. This is for people who live by themselves and have gotten to that position. You will try to make that money at all costs. But as you continue, as you, let's say six months down the line, you've uh, paid your rent and you've actually saved enough for two months extra rent. You know what I mean? On top of that, which is rare, which is very rare. It's kind of hard to do in America. Maybe in other countries it's a lot easier because of different conditions. But in America, it's hard. You know, but let's say you get to that point where you have two months of rent saved up. For some reason, and this happens to a lot of people, me included, you don't work as hard. You stop working as hard, you start relaxing a little bit more because guess what? You have that cushion. You know? And it's a real thing. Uh it's you know what I mean? So I think that's what he's trying to say with the whole ambition kind of reduces after success is gained. It's it's yeah, it's, I think it's a little bit of human nature. But um, what's it called? Uh, this this top part right here where he says, "Oh yeah, I also want to talk about where he says in Warband, uh, he communicates players so much, and this yields a high ratio of end user happiness." Listen, I'm gonna say something real quick. I don't know, maybe I think it depends on the person, but at the same time, I don't know. I feel like as you get a little bit more older, more mature, and stuff like that. I feel like, what am I trying to say? Let's say when you're a teenager, when you're when you're a, let's say middle school, high school, whatever, you get you, you know you, you have your, uh, kids kids nowadays have their phones way before then. But when I was growing up, <laughs> you know what I mean. Middle school was kind of the time I I had to wait until all the way until high school. But middle school was the time when people started getting their phones, right? And the thing is, whenever you started like you know, you know what I mean, like let's say. Because it wasn't real relationships, but it was kind of like these middle school, high school relationships that people would have. And they would be on the phone constantly. You know what I mean? They would be on the phone like, you know, until they fall asleep. They're like, hey, you know, you hang up first or this, that, you know, the corny stuff. But that's what people did. You know, I'm pretty sure people still do it now where they're just always on the phone, always on FaceTime. You know what I mean? You know, falling asleep with each other on FaceTime. Stuff of that nature. That you know, I, I feel like that's just what people do. But I feel like as as I got older, because I've done that too, but as I got older, I was like, dog, I'm not doing all this. You know what I mean? Like sometimes I just don't want to have so much communication with people. You know what I mean? Just constantly, you know what I mean? Always like just being communicating with something or even just texting throughout the day. Listen, I don't know if there's other people who feel like this, bro. I don't like texting. Like I don't, I feel like that constant, like I only text when stuff is necessary. You know what I mean? Like, hey, I'm about to call you. Hey, I'm about to come through. Hey, where you at? You know what I mean? I text when stuff is needed, when it's necessary. Like, hey, how you been? Like, you been good? You know what I mean? The kid's good? Like, I, if something needs to be done, I'm texting. You know what I mean? It, or, you know, if it can be done in a call, I'm calling. Because if it, if I have to text the whole paragraph, I'm not texting. I'm going to call you. We're going to talk about it. And uh, I don't know. This kind of goes, goes back to my point of, like, I feel like a lot of people in the forums, in the community... They want this constant, just like this constant communication, constant this. Like, bro, we get plenty of it. You know what I mean? And if it slows down or if it, you know, breaks off a little bit, that's okay. You don't always need that constant, constant reassurance, constant, constant communication. Like, it's okay. And sometimes it's okay to even take a step back. Like, it's okay. That's what I'm trying to get to. Like, you know, and that's why I think a lot of people... I don't know, maybe, you know, because I used to be both ways, like, you know, I it just, I feel like some people are just not mature, you know, at that point, you know what I mean, I know I use that word a lot, and people are like, oh, well, you know, actually, I'm grown, you know what I mean, this, this, and that, maturity doesn't have to do with your age, you know what I mean, you, you, could, you could be, you could be 50 years old, and you could be immature, you know what I mean, that has nothing to do with your age, yes, more likely than not, older people are a little bit more mature, but I know a lot of people, older people who aren't mature at all, you know what I mean? It has to do with your mindset. It has to do with, you know, either how you were raised or how th how things went in your life and how you see life, you know, see see the world. That's the, that's where the maturity comes in. But, yeah, it's... Look, again, I don't fault them for... It. Even if the community uh, communication got reduced, like, it's, bro, it's okay. 
Like there's plenty of communication. They don't have, like I said, they don't have to keep kind of reassuring. But let's continue. Because I've been going off on a lot of tangents in this video. After all these points, that's why I always want to, I also want to take some long rest first, maybe half to one year, get away from a computer and spend time on different hobbies, free my mind and travel. We are coming to life once, money is less important, life is more important, then create a small indie company later and we'll try to focus on smaller projects while focusing on perfect gameplay. I do not believe things can change here. I feel like it's a good time to create a new way. There it is. He said, listen, he wants to create a new uh, thing. He doesn't like the fact that, well, I want to say he doesn't like the fact. I, I feel like he just wants to, you know, get back into like that grind. You know what I mean? Take a little break and get back into that grind. It is what it is. I know people are going to try to make this seem like, oh, he's trying to say Tail Worlds is not a good this. No, he's trying to say in a respectful way possible that, hey, you know what I mean? They're doing this. I don't fully agree with it. I want to go do this. And that's all it is. Don't read too much into it. That's all it is. You know what I mean? Stuff sometimes, sometimes people split off and do different things. Again, it happens. And uh, that's good. This whole uh, taking a break. If you if you have the opportunity and uh, the financials to take a break for, you know, half a year to a year and just, you know, either spend time, you know, like I said, different hobbies, free my mind, travel, you know, spend time with the family, do it. Do it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I think that's good. I think that's good. And he goes, in addition, we have several unlucky situations in the last 10 years. For example, we were living in a country which has a beautiful climate and geography. G, uh, geography and cultural mixture however is not managed by good people ah okay so we're going into yeah like the, the, there's been a very like i haven't been following up completely with it um like the, the like the political side and all that but there has been a conflict if i'm not mistaken for a very long time um for sure and hey i come from a country that you know has been in, in constant conflict. Uh, I'm, I'm originally born in Ukraine. I came here when I was very young. But, um, yeah, most of my family stays there. And, yeah, I, I understand having a country that's been, you know, ravaged by conflicts and disasters and all that. Yeah, you know what I mean? I understand that. And I, I understand a lot of people don't also understand that. People who, you know, who've been born, for example, in America and have just stayed in America. Like, there's a lot of stuff going around the world, you know, even... uh even now there's a lot of stuff going on in the world and uh yeah i don't want to get too political because i feel like that brings out the uh, worst of people nowadays but yeah it's a lot of bad stuff going around uh then he talks about all the stuff that's happened i don't want to uh, look i'm gonna keep it honest with you i don't want to say certain uh <laughs> like phrases here you know what i mean like over here like because it's literally gonna get me demonetized and um it's, it's gonna be like something like oh you're you're something political like literally youtube is restrictive when it comes to like talking about certain things but um yeah but what he what he's saying is due to this conflict um he says so all young educated generation here is trying to go abroad so he's pretty much saying a lot of people are leaving turkey because of it um and uh, this is bad because they can't really find a lot of, you know, quality devs because, you know what I mean, their country can't really save itself from, you know, from itself. So, I get that. Uh, then he says, also, the stuff that happened, again, I can't even say this, uh, affected us badly too. Of course, it's increased sales. That's true because more people are at home. However, um... He states that, what's it called? I prefer working in an office all together with other devs. Discussing gameplay features face-to-face -face is always better. That is true. And a lot of people did not understand what I meant by that. I wouldn't say a lot of people, but some people were like, listen, bro, they're a computer company. Why, why would they have a hard time communicating on the computer? Bro, listen, dog. Don't, 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 don't stop. <laughs> stop right there. <laughs> what I meant to say is, um, when you're face to face in an office, right? Uh, when you have an idea, you can run to that person's either cubicle or uh, you know section of the office, whatever, and you can go tell them about it. And it's, that's instant communication. You know what I mean? That's right there, and it's communicated. Now, if everyone's working from home, let's say you had this idea on this gameplay feature, but you need to uh, talk to this other person about it because 
it, you know, it kind of interferes with the, what they're doing as well, but you think this would be good. Now you have to either email them the full concept, right? Uh, Zoom call them, wh whatever you choose. Let's say you choose to email, right? So you choose to email. Well, that person just got off for the day or he, you know, he's taking a break or this, that. He doesn't get back to you until the next day. That's a whole day that, you know what I mean? They could have already gotten that done if they worked in the office together. Now, let's multiply this by, let's say, 100 of these instances, right? That's a hundred. That, that's that's almost. If you think about it, let's say, if this was done in the office, right, it would be kind of instant. You know, what I mean, it might take a little bit. He might be busy at the time, so, but but it'll be you know around let's say an hour time, right. Let's say the email situation. Let's say they get unlucky and it always takes about a day to get a response. They're literally losing. I want to say a hundred days, but it it's it's close close to it in terms of you know speed and, and how fast they can develop and i think that that has been a very big problem not just for even just the devs of like you know game developers a lot of businesses are this way so uh yeah i feel like <laughs> here's another thing that's crazy like i feel like a lot of people don't understand that too um because there's a lot of stuff that's you know opening up now um in the job that i have currently uh, we don't have a lot of people working. We don't. And a lot of people are um, quitting because of just immense stress. Immense. Like, bro, uh, I can handle stress. You know what I mean? I still get upset sometimes, but I can handle it. I've been through quite a bit. You know what I mean? So I can handle it. But, like, listen, bro, we're going through people like crazy. People are just quitting. No two weeks. No nothing. Because of all this. And, and, and another thing is, like I'm trying to tie this back in is people don't understand, you know what I mean? The back end, how stuff, ha how this thing that happened to the whole world has affected, you know, and just like how people work. It's, it's <laughs> like today uh, when I was working, it, it was just people were getting mad. And, and I try to tell them like, listen, three people quit today. I'm trying, I'm trying my hardest to make sure, you know, I mean, you have a good experience. And they were just mad. They just kept getting mad, like, oh, this isn't fast enough, this isn't that. It's like, bro, what else do you want me to do? We're down people. What do you want me to do? It's just, so I get it. I, I get where he's coming from. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. You know what I mean? Listen, I'm going off on a lot of tangents. I got a lot to say. Uh, then he continues saying, in short, I reject Bannerlord is a grift. Tailwoods is not a company trying to sell players scam. At least not, at least until now, I cannot know what will happen in the future. Oh, I already, oh, I already know. I already know. Listen, you shouldn't have included this point. I get what he's saying. He's saying, listen, from the time that he's been there, before that time, and until now, that's not a. That's not. You know what I mean? They're not trying to scam. What happens in the future? He has no idea. You know what I mean? He's being kind of literal, but I already know somebody's gonna quote that and be like, oh, well, he doesn't know about the future, so something might happen. Does this have to do with the elephant DLC? I already know someone's going to start it. I already know. He continues by saying, However, in current direction and conditions, it will be hard to create perfect projects in future. This is only guess. I am not talking about okay projects. Of course, uh, these can be produced. That's why I want to create a new way to myself. Also, there are more reasons which I cannot tell uh, public. Not everything was perfect. I also have a lot of disappointments. Yeah, it happens. You know what I mean? And I already know, I already know people are going to start being like, oh my God, they treated him wrong, our favorite developer, this and that. Listen, disagreements happen. It is what it is. Disagreements happen, stuff happens, and you know what I mean? Sometimes it's time to move on. That's just how life works. However, just note that managers are not bad people or scammers. After college finished in 2008, I worked for bad people who are part who prioritize money before terrible so I know how they are like. At the end of the first year, I could not continue that and pass terrible because most important thing is creating projects with people you trust, believe, and have similar importance slash characteristics. There are too many rich but bad people in the world, and they use pot uh, potential, clever, educated, ambitious people to rise more. Ooh, that's some bars, bro. That's a hey, hey. that's some bars, bro. Let me read that one more time. Let me, I'm going to read that one more time for everybody who didn't hear me. There are too many rich but bad people in the world that use potent, uh, 
potential, clever, educated, ambitious people to rise more. Ooh, ooh, that shit was hard. Okay, hey, yeah, yeah. A lot of these people at the top. A lot of these, uh, you know, what I mean, um, how, how how do they like to? It, it's funny because a lot of people. Um, at the top, they like to always say like, oh, bro, I made it by myself, bro. I did this by myself. You know what I mean? I did all this stuff. It's all about, but in reality, it's because they had literally so many people working under them, you know, continuously making him this, you know, making him richer and richer as time went on. And they're seen as geniuses. Like they're the ones who, you know what I mean? Every single day, like they put in all the work to get them to their, uh, you know what I mean? Empire that they have. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna name any names because people, you know, some people see some of these people as their idols, but yeah. Uh, it says it's frustrating to work for these people. Terrell's has was not a place like that. We worked here to uh, rise good people, and they succeed. Okay, with addition, with the additional and so important helps uh, of ba war band modders. Also, they create tons of mods with no financial expectations. Okay, so what he's saying is, listen, we had disappointments, we had disagreements. They're not bad people, it's just not what I'm trying to do. There you go. And he says, also thank you for all the support you give. Terrorworlds is a lucky company, which have really devoted fans. I know why you criticize much. You can see Terrorworlds from your family or like a friend you know for a long time. And you want us to be successful and use all, poten use all potential game has. Okay, alright, there it is. Um, and then what else we got? Oh, so this is, so he's just talking about like features that are already in the game. We already went over all of this. He's just answering questions. Okay. But yeah, there's my take on uh, this post right here. I've talked a lot. It's only 30 minutes. My mouth is dry. Um, yeah. Stay safe.